Hey guys, Derek and Paula here from a guy, a girl, and a camper van. So today we have something a little bit different for you, but we're really, really excited about it. About a year and a half ago, I happened to be on the internet and I stumbled upon a new product called Sugru. So Sugru is basically a moldable glue. It's kind of like Play-Doh or Plasticine, but for adults. It can stick pretty much anything to pretty much anything else, but it's also a self-setting rubber. So if you mold it into a particular shape and then leave it sit for about 24 hours, it will harden into a firm but still flexible silicone-based rubber. Plus it comes in a bunch of different colors, so it's basically a multicolored crafter's dream. If you're a DIYer, this stuff is exactly what you've always been looking for, even though you didn't even know it. That is exactly how I felt whenever I first came across this stuff. So just imagine how incredibly excited I was whenever they contacted us to say that they saw some of our videos, they loved our lifestyle, they loved what we were up to, and they figured that their product would make our lives even easier. So today, we're gonna show you Sugru. <laughs> You're so excited, he's, <laughs> he's so excited. This is awesome. <laughs> So much larger camping trailers and RVs usually have an outside light. So even if you're sitting outside at night at a picnic table, you can still have some light. Unfortunately, our van doesn't have that. So usually we mess around with lanterns and flashlights and other things that just aren't very convenient. You gotta hold them or prop them up somewhere. But with Sugru, we can do something way better than that. Way better. For this hack, we're gonna start out by opening a single packet of Sugru and rolling it into a ball. Next, we'll grab one of their magnets. Oh, did I forget to mention that they also sell packs of extremely powerful rare earth neodymium magnets? Because they do. And because opposite poles attract and same poles repel, the magnets each have a dot on one side so that you always know which pole you're working with. Now take your Sugru ball and gently pinch and roll the ends until it looks like a little worm with a bulge in the middle. Press the magnet into the bulge and neaten up the edges with your fingertip or your thumb. Next, we'll curl up the ends to make two opposite facing hooks. Feel free to take your time as you've got about 30 minutes before the Sugru actually starts to harden. If you're a bit of a perfectionist like me, we found that a normal cotton swab with one end removed makes an excellent tool for detail work and cleaning up any excess from the magnet. Once you're happy with your masterpiece, make a few more and let them harden. Now we can grab our solar-powered LED patio lights and hang them on the side of the van. The magnetic hooks make the entire process easy, so you can spend less time messing about and more time admiring your work. Plus, because they're magnets, you can adjust and reposition them any way you like, even in the form of a slightly misshapen heart. But what if there's rain in the forecast? Is there any way to hang the lights from the awning? You bet there is. The awning is made of fabric and aluminum, neither of which are magnetic. But that's okay. We just need to add a bottle cap and we're back in business. So by far one of my biggest pet peeves during our entire time in the van has been this closet door. The reason is because though we don't really have that many clothes in here, the closet is so small that every time you close this door, clothes get jammed up in it and it makes it difficult to shut. So once again, Sugru to the rescue. This time we'll be using another packet of Sugru and a piece of elasticized shock cord, a little bit shorter than the width of the closet and we've tied a small knot in each end. Roll the Sugru into three equally sized balls and grab a couple more magnets. Flatten out one of the Sugru balls and wrap it around a magnet. Now, firmly stick this to the wall just inside the closet door. Now take the second magnet, another piece of Sugru, and the shock cord. Wrap this magnet as well and then attach it to one of the knots. Once the Sugru hardens, the knot will ensure that they never come apart. Finally, take the last piece of Sugru and wrap it around the other knot and stick it to the other side of the closet opening. Like so. And now that it's dry, no matter how many clothes are in here, we can use this to hold them back and they don't get jammed in the door. We've always wanted a better option for showering inside and outside our van. And I think we've come up with a pretty good solution gonna take two of these shower curtains with metal grommets, the portable shower we showed you a few videos ago, and of course, 
some Sugru. We start off by using some brown Sugru to strategically attach four magnets close to the ceiling in our hallway. Then, once they've dried, we can snap on our magnetic hooks and hang our shower curtains. After we tuck the bottom of the curtains into our collapsible dog bath and hang the shower nozzle over the top, we're ready to get cleaned up. It's surprisingly spacious on the inside and we can even turn on the exhaust fan to draw the steam out. But, if you really want to keep this steam out and the weather permits, you can reposition the hooks back onto the awning and set up the shower outside instead. Plus, if the wind picks up a bit, just replace the bottle caps with a second set of hooks for an even stronger hold. So some of you will remember that in the fall we had some electrical problems with the van. We were able to make a good fix, but one of the things that really bugged me was that we had some wires that we had to splice together and we couldn't really seal them up very well. So in here we installed a new fusible link and we were able to put a heat shrinking tube on here because it was one wire connecting directly to the end of another. But we also had to splice into this wire right in the center. And because it wasn't just one straight wire, we couldn't feed a heat shrinking tube over it. So at the time, the best I could do was just wrap the whole thing in electrical tape and just hope that no water ever got in. But now that we have Sugru, we can make a much better fix. You see, Sugru is also waterproof and electrically insulative for low voltage wires, such as the 12 volts that we have in our van. So I already removed all of the electrical tape from this, just so that you can see it better, but technically Sugru will stick to electrical tape just fine. So if you've already made a temporary fix, you can put your Sugru permanent fix right over top of it. For this, we're gonna use one pitch black pack of Sugru. And we'll cut it open like usual. So I'm just gonna kind of flatten it out a little bit, wrap it on here, and then cover all of the exposed wire and solder. And there we go. Now we've got a permanent fix that's waterproof and insulative. And I gotta say, it also just looks a heck of a lot better than the mess of electrical tape I had on there before. So now I can tape the rest of this back up so that it looks like all the rest of the wires and we're good to go. Just like any other electrical project, you must always use caution. Because even simple 12 volt systems can be dangerous if handled improperly. So one thing that's always annoyed us is where we hang our dish towel. So when we would be stationary for a while and we needed it to dry, we would hang it maybe here, but the minute we started moving, it would fall. And then we started thinking, all right, if we wanted to hang it here, this is great, but now it's too close to the burner. So we started hanging it here, and that's super annoying when you want to get in the bottom drawer. So everywhere we would hang our towel was super annoying and inconvenient. So with Sugru, we've created a better fix. You take one hair elastic and you're going to tie a knot. There we go. And then you take Sugru, we chose brown, just to match the decor in here. We are actually going to take half of the Sugru. That's all we're gonna need for this. So we're gonna just put this down here and we're going to actually create just a, like a little loop here. But before I stick it on, I am going to put the hair elastic in and then mold, mold it around and stick it on. We'll show you how it works once it dries. So it's dry. And look at how hard I'm pulling. And the Sugru is not letting go. So what did we create? We created a towel holder with our elastic and the Sugru that's mounted now and dried to the side of our cupboard. This is how it works. Put the towel up through, pull it, and there you go. Even on the bumpiest of roads, this is not gonna fall. And it's nowhere near our burner, and it's not in my way. We also created a towel holder for when we're cooking outside the van. Huh? <laughs> so back before we actually moved into our camper van, we made this little jar so that we could put our spare change in it whenever we happen to have some extra in our pocket so that we could save up for our trip across Canada. The problem was that we used a normal glue that happened to be on the market and it didn't work very well to hold this van on the top. The problem is that the van isn't flat, 
It's got all these little bumps and the round wheels. And so a normal liquid glue just wouldn't hold it very well. It held for a couple of weeks, but it very quickly fell off. But that's where Sugru is so different. Sugru, because it's, it's like a moldable, almost like a clay, it can get into all the nooks and crannies and crevices, and it would have done a much better job. But we don't need to save up money for a trip anymore, so we don't need that jar. So instead, we're gonna glue this onto something else. So right here on the side of the vein, we've got this little door that opens up to our propane tank that runs our furnace and our fridge and everything else that requires propane in the van. But unfortunately, it has these two little handles, one here and one here, but you can see that this one has broken off, which makes it really hard to try and open up this door. So we will likely eventually replace this thing properly, but until then, we've got a solution that's gonna make this a heck of a lot easier to open and just way more fun. We're gonna use Sugru to glue our little van on here as a door handle. But before we do that, we're gonna actually clean this off a little bit because it's got tons of dust and just road grime on it. So we're gonna use a little bit of rubbing alcohol. There we go. Looks pretty good. For this job, we're gonna use some of this silver gray Sugru because it'll match our little silver camper van. So we're gonna stick a little bit on the door itself first, and then we'll stick that right on there. Press it in firmly. And that is actually a really strong hold already, but just to make sure that it doesn't fall off until it actually sets, we're gonna grab some of this tape, and we'll just give it a little extra support. There we go. And once the Sugru is dry, we're gonna have a beautiful new handle. So now we're back after 24 hours and we're gonna peel off this tape. There we go. Nice strong hold on the Sugru. And so now we will open it up. Not bad. Plus we made a cap for the end of our faucet to stop it from dripping while we're on the road. We added a bit of Sugru to our washroom door to stop it from rattling, and a bit more to fill the slightly larger gap on our closet door, much like our dish towel holder minus the hair elastic. And we even used some leftover Sugru to customize our wine glasses. Yeah, because Derek always steals mine. So that is Sugru. So by now I'm sure you must understand why I've been so excited about this product. But if you need more information, you can check out Sugru.com. Or for those of you who want to actually try it out for yourself, Sugru has been generous enough to offer 10% off for all of our viewers. So click on the link in the description below this video. That's mine. Ah, uh, that's why we label them. Sugru to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs>